Now listen to me, Frank. Anything I decide in this family is final. Nobody can stop me. Not even God. Not to talk of your useless father. Look, Mama. It has not come to this. Huh? I was only trying to let you know that this is... Keep quiet! I said keep quiet. So, Frank, you have grown so big to challenge me and wish your mother when I'm talking, eh? I see. Mama, look, I will... I will just... tell Is it me, or your husband, that you call a useless man? I see. Our kinsmen must hear about this. And I will make sure you pay daily for it. Papa, Papa, please. Papa, look, look, it has not come to this. It's just a small person. If you like, come tell the whole town. What I know is that... Listen to me, Frank. My yes is my yes, and my no is my no. Final. Mama. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You're such a big girl. Thank you. Where's Papa? Papa went out. And Mama is inside the house. Ah, uh, okay. Mama. <laughs> Woo. Uh. Mama. 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 <sighs> ah, Mama. <laughs> Yes, Mama. How are you? Thank God. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, like I can see you're very busy. Uh, I'm arranging some firewood Lillian brought from the farm yesterday. Uh, that's good. <laughs> I hope Papa has gone out. Uh, he went out a few minutes ago. Oh, very good, very good. You're welcome, my son. Go into the boot of the car hmm? and get the things there, all right? So, uh, Mama, how has it been? What? You've been managing? <laughs> ah, your goats have grown. Yes, no, they are very big goats now. The last time I came out, there were just two kids, very small. But now they are four. Four? Yes. Ah, that's good. <laughs> that's yeah. good. Ah, oh, Lillian, how are you? Good morning. I don't think I should call you. Papa? Yes. What about? You didn't tell me. Okay, tell him I'm coming. meeting because I know that by tomorrow you will be going back to Lagos. 
You are not getting any younger. Almost all your mates in this town are married. By the grace of God, you have everything that makes it comfortable for any modern young man. Why are you not thinking about marriage? Get us a girl to marry. Eh? In fact, I expect to hear from you within the next one month. Baba, thank you very much. Your suggestion is good. Very good. But I have a question to ask, Papa. This wife, should I go looking for the lady or you and Mama will do it for me? You do it yourself. You are a man and you know what you want. There are many beautiful and responsible girls in Lagos. I used to see them when I came on visits. Unless you want to marry from the village. In that case, you are more than I will look for one for you. Please, can I say something, father and son? If it is on this issue, forget it. Because I know that you always want to have it your own way. Papa, Papa, no, no. Ah. Papa, no, no. Mama, please, you're free to talk. After all, she's the mother of the house. Frank, listen. Any lady you are going to bring into this house, must be ready to obey my rules and regulations. Hmm. Or else... Did you hear that? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> huh? Mama, I promise that I will bring a respectful girl that will obey you. Is that okay? <laughs> How I hope that uh, our son can get a very beautiful and respectful girl to marry. You know, our people like very good things. Wow. <laughs> but how did you advise your son to get a wife from the city when there are so many girls in this village? Don't you know that those ladies in the cities are all harlots? Keep quiet. What does a village woman like you know about city girls? If you like, shout from here to heaven. What I know is that I will not fold my hands and watch my son bring in an ashabo into my house. I don't blame you. I blame myself for bringing you into my house. Ebuna. Ebuna. Yes? How many times have I warned you to keep away from this land? This land belongs to me. And this is where my son abroad will build his house when he comes back. Ebuna, I am warning you for the last time. What for? What for? Something has come over you. You must be mad. Eh? This land does not belong to you. And you know it. Oh, that this land does not belong to me? It doesn't belong to you. Who owns these blocks? What for? Is it because you have a son who is abroad, and whom you claim to be very rich, that you are going about trying to take things from people? Things that do not belong to you. Is this why you are throwing your weight about? I'm warning you. Remove these blocks. Uh. Take these blocks away from here. This land does not belong to you. Otherwise, I will give you any trouble you want on this land. Anything at all you want on this land, I will give it to you. Even if you go to court, I will be there with you. Oh, oh, is that what you said? Okay, we shall see. What has come over this wife for man? Eh? He knows that this land doesn't belong to him. Yet he wants to lay claims on it. This is getting out of hand though. This is getting out of hand though. If it's not I'm with you, you will jump. This is man to man. Look, he already has some blocks here. Take that which belongs to you. This is not Amuche. I think I will send for Frank.
Like the saying goes, the no place are. like home. <laughs> anyway, your idea is nice. Thank you, thank you very much. It's been so long. <laughs> sit down and arrange a thing. You mean you are going to marry that lady after all? Yes. Well, you see, mm. she's my kind of woman. Mm. But more importantly, her legal backing will be of immense benefit to my business. That's good. That's good. <laughs> she and I will be going home to see my parents. No problems. I'll come to the house later so that we can arrange oh, things. That'll be great. That'll be wonderful. Meanwhile, congratulations. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yeah. This your village environment is nice. Oh, thank you. Only that you people don't have good roads. If it's in Lagos, you'll be boasting that your village is the best in the whole world. Look at you. See who is talking. The day we went to your village, was it not in the market square that I parked this car? I would have to trek for God knows how long before we got to that, to that bunker called your village. Bush girl. <laughs> Frank, don't insult me. Please leave me in a bunker. Sorry, oh, Madam London. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lydia, since you came back from school, you have refused to be of any help to this family. Eh? Soon you come back, you won't. Go to the farm. Oh, uh -huh. that one is a no-go area. Can't you see I'm preparing for my forthcoming exams? Uh -huh. So, Lydia, somebody who is preparing for her exams will no longer have her mother in the house. 
When it comes to eating, remember your exam, so. That's my mom. Oh, good day. <laughs> good evening, ma. Welcome. <laughs> Where's Papa? <laughs> ah, Papa. It's nice. It's tight, man. Ah, my father is on his Good evening. Frank. Yes, Mama. Who is this lady? Ah, Mama. Let's not rush things. Uh, we're just coming. Let's take it easy. You'll get to know, okay? Lilia, where did you come from school? From yesterday. discussion when I came home. She is the woman I want to marry. She is a lawyer. Yeah? A lawyer? Yes, Papa. My son. Give me your hand. Well done. My daughter. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. My son will marry you. Thank you, sir. Okay? Sit down. Mune, what is your name? Doris, ma. What about your parents? Are they still alive? Yes, ma, they are. And my son said you are a lawyer. Yes, ma. Agnes, why are you crying? Is anybody dead? No. What about your husband? He has gone out. Did he beat you before he left? No, he's my son. Your son? Yes. <laughs> what about him? Since he got married to that his wife, things are not normal in this family again. He no longer takes care of me and his father. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, he came back with a bag of rice, many two bars of yam including other, other things. Before I knew it, he has packed the whole thing to his in-law's place oh. and left us with nothing. Mm -hmm. My sister, tell me, where have you offended him to deserve all this? You see? And you, you know how we suffered to bring him up. <laughs> now in this house, oh. there is no single food. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, my sister. It's all right. Daughter-in-law of yours, what job does she do? She's a doctor. Doctor? And she decides what goes on in this family. Medical That's doctor. the most painful thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My son will not marry you. What? Amuchi, what is coming over you? Are you going crazy? My son will not marry a lady whose parents are still alive or a lady who is well educated. Mm -hmm. If you know where you came from, just turn your back and go. Mama, do you realize what you're doing? Do you just realize what you're doing, Mama? Besides, the woman you're insulting, Mama, is carrying my baby. Oh, your baby? How are you sure it's your baby? So, mm -hmm. you've been messing around before he saw you and brought you into this house. My son will not marry an Ashawa into this house. What? Enough, Mama. Enough of this insult. So, Frank, this is your plan. You brought me all the way from Lagos. That's your village just to be insulted before your mother. Doris, please. I please. don't blame you. Doris, take it easy. I'll settle this. I will explain, Doris. And you, woman, listen and listen carefully. I promise you, 
you will die before them. Which? So go! Go and don't come back! Look, look, go! Look, you don't understand. What has my mother turned my life into? Why must she neglect and insult my fiance? God, I can't sleep. I feel like I'm dying. Should I go back to Doris? Will she understand me? Oh God, please help me out of this situation. My mother, my mother, this, this is her. It's high time you stopped this wickedness. Oh, God. My God, why can't I concentrate? What is happening to me? Frank, why can't I get you out of my mind? God. Yes, come in. The door is open. Yes, what can I do for you? What is it? Look at you. You call yourself a man, yet you cannot have a word of your own. Please leave my office, or you'll be sorry you came. This is how you and your mother want to end up a two years relationship. Doris, I understand how you feel. I do. But for God's sake, it's not my fault. Whose fault? You were there in the village. My mother likes to have everything her way, and you saw all that happened. I just want you to listen to me, please. Hear me out. And remember, you're carrying my baby. Your baby? Which baby, Frank? Doris. How much charge do you pay on me? Frank, for your own good, leave my office. I don't want to hurt you and don't waste my life again. I can't take care of myself. Doris. Leave my office. Can you hear yourself? Frank, get out of my office, I say. Your master, eh? yes, sir. Frank. Frank. I'm fine. Welcome. I was at office this morning, and your secretary told me that you didn't come to work. But what's the matter? Victor, yes. I am in a big Remember I told you that I'd be going to the village with Doris to send up Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What happened? My mother rejected Doris. Just because she's educated and I'm sure she's still alive. Meaning what? I can't understand. What did Doris do then? Doris walked out of the house. And when I returned to Lagos, I called at her office. She practically threw me out of the office, warning me just take it away from her. Mm. This is serious. And do you know what? Yes. What is it? Doris is carrying my baby. My God. Your baby. Wait, Frank. Let me ask you something. This woman you're about to marry, is it for yourself or for your mother? What kind of question is that for God? I mean, what are you talking about? I have married her for myself. She's my wife. Then for once, ones. listen to the words of our elders. How do you use your tongue to count your teeth? Period. Shaman, sister. 
if you saw what happened on that fateful day, my father, the lunch you gave in and swallowed me. Hm. In fact, I couldn't believe it. Just look at me. Despite my position in the society, I'm ashamed of myself. You mean all these things happened to you? Hmm. After so many years in a relationship? You think I'm joking? Well, I don't want to remember that again. And what happened since then? Anyway, Luther came to my chamber to apologize. But I walked him out. So, oh, Doris, you made a mistake. You shouldn't have done that. You would have considered him, hence it wasn't his fault. That is not the issue. The issue is that his mother makes the family decisions. <laughs> Even the father has no sense. The last idiot to stay in the house while the mother is there. Preparations for the traditional marriage and the church wedding. 
I guess we have enough food in the house. And so I hope everybody will be comfortable until I come back. Meanwhile, I will leave some money behind for Lillian's school fees. That's why I called you. Thank you very much, my son. You have spoken well. We will stay with her according to the tradition. And uh, we will make sure that she lacks nothing. Thank you, Papa. I'm very grateful. Frank, I've heard what you said. But you know, I didn't know this girl before. So, you can go ahead with the traditional marriage. But, we will not rush into white wedding. She has to stay with me for at least one year. So I can study her character. If she's good, then we'll go ahead with the white wedding. If not, you will not marry her. Hamuchi, you have started again. What is wrong with you? Frank, don't mind your mother. We'll take care of her. Mama, I don't understand. I thought you loved her. Why are you trying to make life difficult for me, Mama? I brought the first girl home, you rejected her. Now you are rejecting this one. What have I done, Mama? Did I say I don't like her? I'm only doing my duty as a mother. If you don't like it that way, then we'll just carry her and keep her where we picked her. She got married to that woman's son. She has been restraining her from going to Lagos to see her husband. Instead, she stays in this village suffering. Oh, poor girl. Who doesn't know Amucha in this village? She is as wicked as Jezebel. I wish I were the guest mother. I will just bring her back to my house. But I wonder why her son left the wife to suffer in the hands of his mother. Uh -huh. Come on. Huh? I even hear she said her son will not wed the poor girl. Until one year, you don't mean it. Oh. And what did the girl's mother say? My sister. She didn't say anything, oh. <laughs> the man must be a weakling to allow the mother to control him. Naimo. Let's go. Let's go. Judy, I wish you not, we are not forgetting anything. No. Yeah. Okay. Ah, my son. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for all this. Well, eh? uh, at least our in laws will know that they have a good son in law. <laughs> 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 my daughter, yes, sir, sir. when you get home, hmm? good and very well for me. <laughs> I will. Eh? I'm own. so happy. <laughs> Papa, I think we should be leaving now. It's almost raining. Yes. Oh, yes, yes I'll yes, yes. come back in time. That's true. Little, little, little. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, take this one. Uh, what is happening here? And where are you taking all these things to? Uh, Mama, Mama, I, I thought I told you that uh, I'll be visiting my in-laws today. Eh, you said so, but you didn't tell me you were taking all these things to do, Saraka. <laughs> well, Ma, 
don't talk like this now, eh? I mean, they are my in-laws and they are part of us. Besides, these are small, these are, these are nothing. I mean, this is... I mean, Frank, the <laughs> night yeah. is coming. You better hold up so that you can go back and try it. Okay, Lillian, go. will you bring those things out and send them back to the room? Why? Mama, I ask why. Amuche. Amuche. What's wrong with you? Mama, now they take these things now. Shut up and do what I say. Send those things in. Lillian, pack those things in the car or else I'll do them myself. What kind of nonsense is this? Listen to me, Frank. Whatever I decide in this family is final. Nobody can stop me, not even God. Not to talk about your useless father. Lillian, I said you should pack those things into the room or else you run into my trouble. Can't you see there's no food in this house? Not even a cup of rice. And your husband Frank has refused to come back for over one month. Let me see if I can collect some money from him. If Papa Frank comes, tell him. Mama, but you know I'm supposed to go to Lagos myself and discuss this. Frank is my husband and besides he told me he will be traveling out of the country. Meaning what? So you mean I don't have the right to go to my son's house in Lagos and collect what I want, eh? Do you have any message for me? No. I'm leaving. Huh? Take care of the house. Go to the farm and finish the little work we have there before I come back. Tell Papa Frank if he comes, eh? Senses. It's clear to me that her cup is full. Sooner or later, all this will come to me. Look at the little girl we just married for our son. Eh? She can't even allow her to rest. You're not going into that farm until she comes back. Now stop crying. Stop crying. Relax. I promise you, very soon we'll be going to Lagos to live with her husband. Stop 
crying, my daughter. Stop crying. Stop crying. very simple. I just want peace to reign. But I can see that you are beginning to overdo things. And I know what to do. After all, Judith is not your maid, but my wife. Frank, is it me your mother you are talking to like that? Because of that little brat you left in the village. Eh? What? I can see you are beginning to grow weeks. And you will not take time, eh? Frank! You will see my wife, you're calling me a brat, mama. Are you calling my wife a brat? You call my own wife a brat before my presence, mama. I am not giving you a couple. First thing tomorrow morning, you are out of my house, back to the village. I am coming to the village by the weekend. I'm not even sure Papa knows you're coming to Lagos. Frank! You are pushing me out of your house! You are pushing me out! You see, I've done all I can for these people to leave this land. But look where. I even invited a lawyer from out here. But Nick did nothing, man. See, that's why I decided to take a lawyer from the city. Someone I could trust. I want you to do all you can to make sure I win this case. Listen, money ain't no problem. I'm willing to pay you any amount to make sure I win this case. I just can't wait to start on my factory building on that land as soon as possible before leaving back to the States. I heard all what you said. You said the case is in the magistrate court in your local government. Yeah. But you've not told me the truth about that land. You know, as your lawyer, I need to know the truth. So, Mr. Menike, who owns that land? Well, uh, Aristo, you are my lawyer, and I must tell you the truth. You see, uh, <clears throat> that land, and we really our land, belongs to the other people. But I really need this land so much. All right, all right. By the way, who are these people you are talking about? I mean, who are these people you want me to deal with? The man's name is uh, Iguna Ofo. He's a father to a guy called um, Frank. Frank Ofo.
Frank. Oh, <laughs> Papa, so far you're in the house. I was still wondering. I was in the good house doing something. Ah. <laughs> you're welcome. Where's everybody? Um, your mother and Judith went to the farm since morning. But I'm sure they will soon be back. To the farm? Yes. Anyway, I want you to meet Victor. He's my friend and colleague from Lagos. My father. My son. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you, Papa. So I, I got to a letter now, and I couldn't understand the urgency. So I decided to run there. What's the problem? Yes, my son, it is uh, because of a new development in the land dispute. You know, we'll be going to court next week. Yes, yes. I heard that these people have engaged a new lawyer from Lagos. This is why I had to send for you immediately. I can see that these people are really ready for trouble. They are. And I'm going to give it to them. Don't worry, Papa, I know what to do. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. Aha, your mother and Judith are back from the farm. I told you they will soon be back. Let me arrange some color marks for you. Okay. Welcome. You. Mama, you're back. Yes. Good evening. Thank you, my son. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry. I want you to meet my friend Victor. Good day. I've been maltreating you. It's okay, we'll send you alright, okay? It's alright. It's alright. Excuse me. Who is she? Your mother's maid or your sister? What? Victor, for God's sake, she is my wife! Wife? Frank, are you crazy? How can you marry this sweet thing and leave her in the village to suffer? Just because you want to please your mother. Come on, Frank. Look, you're a big guy. This thing doesn't fit but you. What do you want me to do, Victor? <laughs> I'm confused, Victor. If I force my mother, she will kill this girl. Nonsense. I mean Look, take this sweet girl to Lagos and Take good care of her. She is your wife, not your mother's maid. I'm tired of staying in this relationship, Mama. <laughs> Nothing I do pleases her. And the thing I do is I kind of mess. <laughs> Sometimes I imagine she doesn't want me to stay in this relationship with her anymore. <laughs> I'm so confused. Come, 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 come here. It's okay. See, look, I don't want to get up like this. Uh, please, please. See, the reason I allowed you to go to stay with Mama in this village is just for the sake of peace. That's all. Mama says you should stay with her for a while so she can monitor your behavior before we fix her wedding. Look, look. If I ever violate Mama, we will not find rest in our marriage. Can't you understand? I just want you to do one thing for me. Just tolerate Mama for this little while. And this temptation will pass, okay? Do you understand? Look, 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 stop crying. It's okay. Please, you're hurting me. Okay, okay. Whenever I feel like I'm coming to Lagos, Feel free to do so. My house is your house. We're going to be together forever. Okay? I'm going to Lagos. That's why now. I'm not coming back here to stay with Mama. Okay. See lying lips, eh? The judge is against The judge is against them. If they have problem with the judge, let them go and settle it. How can you take what belongs to our mother? Well, how could you do this to us? Mm. Of course, how could you tell the court what I discussed with you in your office about the land? How? Mr. Minikin, please listen to me. 
What I did, I was compared to do. What? That man is my uncle. This has to arrive. From the way the case was going, we're going to be a judge. Um, my daughter. Yes, Papa. I don't know how to thank you. Eh? In spite of all the insults you received from us when my son brought you home for marriage, you still went ahead and wiped the tears in our eyes. Eh? Thank you, Papa. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Papa. Those things have passed. My happiness is that you've won the case and gotten back your land. You made it possible for us. Good day, Papa. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. God bless you. Hi. Hi. Uh... Well, could you please get out of my sight or you spit on your face? Doris, don't do this to me. Oh. You see the lady you rejected? Hmm? The lady you stopped from being your son's wife simply because she was educated. If she were not educated, how would she have helped us to recover this land? Tell me, stupid woman. Judith, are you out of your mind? How can a beautiful girl like you marry to a rich guy like that? Stay here in the village with the mother. Every time you are in the farm, just look at you. Look at how tattered you are. I hardly recognized you when I came in. So, all the advice I gave to you before I left for Lagos fell on deaf ears. Baby, we have to do something and fast before it's too late. What do I do? If you am so confused. My husband had, had advised me and I don't want to disobey him. Though he said I can come to Lagos whenever I feel like it. Vomiting for the past two days. Why don't you see a doctor? I don't feel like I'll be okay. Then you should travel to Lagos to see your husband. I'm sure you are missing his absence. How can I do that? You know I've never been to Lagos before. Yet you have the address. Yes, bring it, Lenny. Make sure you finish those things I say you should do. Yes, ma'am. Mama, please, I forgot to tell you. My mother sent for me today that I should come and collect some traditional medicine for my sickness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. When are you coming back? A day after tomorrow, since I have to wait for her to get the medicine. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come back as you said. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, ma'am. Oh.
He has come in, the door is open. Come in. Papa is my when I saw Frank and his parents in court. My especially, that wish of his mother. As God may have it, when I saw the father, I had no option than to tell the magistrate what my clients told me about the land. Your action was very nice. It shows that you're a good Christian. Because if you had considered what they did to you the day you went to their village, you would have made sure that they lost that case. Frank's father is a nice man. Besides, we don't pay evil with evil. That's why. Excuse me. Yeah? Tell him I don't want to see him. I'm busy. Nonsense. Who's that? It's Frank. Check for 50,000 Naira. Wow. What for? I wouldn't know. Call him for me. Yes, ma'am. Doris. How are you? Mr. Ma, what is the meaning of this? It's just a small token, you know, from me to you. An appreciation of what you did in court in the prospect of the case. Thank you for your compensation, but I don't need it. You can have the check. Please, Doris. Take the check or I tear it in your presence. Can't you... Now, leave my office. Doris, sissy, you I said leave my office. Can't you see I'm with someone? Get out of my office. I said get out okay. of my office. Doctor, so there any problems? Well, nothing serious. I have good news for you. Good news? Please, please, out in it. <laughs> Frank, I am pregnant. Oh, I am blessed. <laughs> you did it. You're frowning. You're not happy. What's it? The wedding. The wedding. Wedding plans start this minute. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Make sure it's a boy, alright? <laughs> 
Well done, no. Ah, our wife. Welcome. Uh, how about your people? They are fine, no. Uh, what about yours? I just managed. Ah, you went to the family alone? Uh, oh, our wife hasn't come back from Lagos. No, she didn't travel to Lagos. She went to see her parents. In fact, her mother sent for her. She'll come back tomorrow. Ah, 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 Moshe. Why are you so secretive? I saw your son's wife three days ago at the market motor park. And she told me she was traveling to Lagos. What are you hiding? Are you sure of what you're telling me? What do you mean by am I sure of what I'm telling you? Shut up, Moshe. I don't have time for you. Aha! You are welcome. Thank you. What of your people? They are all fine. What of my father-in-law? He left about 20 minutes ago. Where is your daughter? She traveled to Lagos to see her husband. So it's true. Your daughter traveled to Lagos to see my son without telling me. Eh? What do you mean? Wait. Are you trying to tell me that my daughter has no right to go to her husband's house in Lagos? Oh, that was why you kept her in the village with you, eh? I see. So you are the brain behind all this, eh? Yes. Now listen. Listen very well. Let me warn you. Stop torturing my daughter. Allow her to enjoy her marriage. I am not prepared to tolerate any more nonsense from you. Enough is enough. Now leave my house. Leave my house. You push me out of your leave house. Leave my house, wicked woman. Leave my house. You 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 Let me sweep off your wicked legs. Hey, that comes my queen. <laughs> Turn around. Whoops. You look beautiful. But, um, uh, why don't you try one of those dresses I bought for you yesterday? Okay. Okay, great. Come on, go in and change. Ah. Just a minute. Don't hurry up. Let's not keep Victor waiting. Okay. Who are you? I'm crying. Yes, come. <laughs> Mama? Where are you coming from? Will you get out of the way let me pass? Hi, is Papa. Is Judith here? Any problem? I'm asking if Judith is here. Mm, I sit down. What's the matter? Are you deaf? I'm asking if Judith is here. Did she come here? Yes, she's here. Call her for me. Darling. Darling.
it's all right. It's, it's okay. Jimmy, it's all right. See, I understand how you feel, okay? Look at me, look at me. You know I love you very much. I'll be home by weekend. And I'll settle this matter once and for all, okay? It's cool. <laughs> I didn't like the way you spoke to that boy. It was not fair. Lillian, you don't understand. I have warned that boy so many times to leave me alone. But he keeps disturbing me. So what do you expect me to do? Uh, okay. Let's forget about that. Lillian, I forgot to ask you something. I heard that a man came to marry you last week. Mm, it's true. I rejected him. Not because I don't like him. As far as his mother is still alive, I'm afraid. Why? If you see the way my mother is maltreating my brother's wife, Judith, you pray not to have a mother in law in your life. Why can't you talk to her? Talk to my mother. Ah, you want her to kill me? No, I don't have that power. Lillian, don't you think this will affect your life? My sister is already affecting me now. Look at me, it's affecting me. My, my mother's behavior to Judith leads me to be afraid of every woman. But why must she do that? I think that woman wants to have everything to herself. And what do you mean by that? She wants to have all authority. <laughs> Women! Ah, Lillian, your brother's house is almost completed. Forget those people, let's go. <laughs> Mama, I'm tired. The sun is too hot and it's not good for my condition. Uh -huh. Okay, keep walking. We'll soon go, eh?
What am I going to tell Frank? Have you seen what you caused? Amuchi. Amuchi. What is the meaning of this? What is happening? I don't know. Go and ask Amucha. But what I'm telling you is this. If this little girl leaves this house, Amucha will cease to be my wife in this life. That is your own cup of tea. Whether I'm your wife or not, I don't care. What I know is that Judith must leave this house. What is happening? I have not seen this mood before. Oh. I decided not to talk. But because of the regard I have for you. Look at this girl who called herself my daughter in law. She was pregnant for my son, Frank. But do you know that she went and conspired with the doctor and she aborted the pregnancy? You say it's a lie. Judith had a miscarriage because of the stress my mother was giving her in this house. She knows Judith was pregnant. And every time, time with that number, Judith is in the farm working. And my mother knows she's pregnant. Lilia, is it me your mother you're talking to like that? Yes, you are a liar. A very wicked woman, so heartless. And if my brother Frank comes back, I will tell him. Stop crying. Our wife is okay. We will settle this matter. We are the editors of this town. We will settle this matter once and for all. It's okay. No, Papa. I'm begging you. I want to go. The Lord is too much for me to carry. I'm sorry if I have to disobey you. If I steal another one week in this house, Mama will kill me. And I don't want to die a premature death. Please. Tell Frank. I said you should forgive me. I still love you, Papa. I catch them. is exactly what happened and I warned your mother I've told her that as far as she sent Judith out of this house she will never be my wife again and I will no more eat food cooked by her so Judith has gone back to her people that is exactly what she will be Frank I want to say something I don't want to hear anything from you I don't 
want to hear anything from you, Mama. And besides, I'm disappointed in you. I regret having you as my mother. Papa, I'm going to set up Judith now. Frank, why not wait till tomorrow? So that we can take two of our kids, men and Papa, I will not wait till tomorrow. I, I'm going in search of Judith now. But can I come with you? will not come with me. You call me some other time. Mama, but why? Why must this happen to me, eh? Why have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? Stop crying, my daughter. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Listen, I am your mother. And I will make sure that nothing on earth takes you back to that house. All will soon be well, don't worry. Who is that? Mama is Frank. Go inside. My in law. Who is your in law? What are you looking for? Mama, please, I can explain. Just take it easy, please. Huh? Take what easy, Frank. I am asking you, take what easy. You married my daughter, left her with your wicked mother in the village. That was why she has the got to treat my daughter like a slave. I don't blame her. I blame myself for giving you my daughter. Mama, now leave my house. Mama, I'm on my knees, please. At least let me just see my wife. Let me talk to her, please. See who? Mama. My daughter. Please, Mama. You must be dreaming. Go and marry your wicked mother. You understand? You call yourself a man? Yet you cannot take your responsibilities. No, now please. leave my house. Let before me. I pour hot water on you. you. I say leave my house! Mama, please, thank you. Come out, he has gone. My name is Chibobi. Can I go? No, come, come. How about your parents? My parents? Uh, they're dead. Dead? Hey, it's a pity. Can I go? Uh, uh, please come. I want to ask you for something. You see, I have a son. His name is Frank. And he's based in Lagos. He's a very rich man. I want him to marry you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Marry me? Hmm. Did you ask you to look for a wife for him? He's my son. And I have the right to choose his wife for him. Uh, I have to think about it. Okay. But in case if I want to give you my answer, how can I get you? Just come to Isiako village. Ask for Ebuna's family. My name is Amuche, Frank's mother. They will bring you to my house. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, my dear. Akwangwa. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. <laughs> At least she doesn't have a father or mother. She will be taking two bars of yam and rice too. Exactly what I want. My daughter, now that you are living for Abuja with your husband, Vincent, <laughs> make sure you always loyal to him. 
and do everything you can as a good housewife and it shall be well with you. Amen. I, your mother, am strongly behind you. Thank you. Bless you. Don't worry. I'll make sure I'll be Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yes, Mama. I want you to look at this girl very well. She's a very beautiful girl, Mama. <laughs> I know you like her. She's the girl I want you to marry. I've discussed everything with her. Let's go and see her uncle. Uncle? What about our parents, Mama? They are dead. That is why I said you should go and see her uncle. Just give him some money. He's a kinsman. Hmm? And Mrs. Herman will perform. And the girl will become ours. And she will come <laughs> here to stay with you, Mama. Huh? Mm, just for some time. Young lady. What's your name? Chibobi, right? Yes. I see. I hope you heard what Mama said. Yes. Is that what you discussed with her? But I told her I will discuss with him when you come. What are you discussing with him again? I thought I'd finish with it. Mama, I've heard you. I want to go to the site to inspect the room. Uh -huh. I'll see you later. Say hi. small now. I'm just managing it. Ah. Chimobi, when your mother was alive, did she use this quantity of fish to cook a pot of soup? Mama, why are you insulting my dead mother? What has she got to do with this? Everything, Chimobi. Everything. The other day, I asked you to accompany me to the farm. You refused and said you were going to the salon to do your hair. Today again, I asked you to cook a small pot of soup and you decided to use every available fish and meat in this house. Chimobi, are you here for marriage or did you come to read me? But Mama, why are you shouting on me now? Why can't you just hear me out? Why, are, why would I shout on you? Who are you? What? You slapped me. Why would I slap you? Who are you? house. You slapped me. Jesus Christ. I won't slap you.
English girl. Just make sure you finish cooking this soup before I come back. Sorry, sorry, Mama. You'll be all right, Mama. Sorry. <sighs> Chimo be my daughter. Mama. I want you to listen to me. Your father, Onyema, died on time. He was killed by your uncle and his wife. Now they're after me. They want to take my life. <laughs> Mama, stop oh. saying all those things. Nothing is going to happen to you, Mama. Oh, please. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you. Mm. If anybody or anything chooses to stand on your way, my daughter, remove him or her. Be a wise girl. Bye. Mama, no. Mama, Mama, no, Mama, don't do this to me. <laughs> Mama, oh, no, somebody help me. Mama, <laughs> Mama, please. So, this woman wants to intimidate me. She wants to kill me as my uncle and his wife did to my parents. Now, it can't happen. I know what I will do. You that when you wake up in the morning, you should pick up your broom and sweep the whole company. Eh, hey, Timothy? I knew they were fighting. The South Sabu Amuchi, I don't know why you should be having problems with your daughter in law. Please. Try to tolerate her for the little time she has to stay with you. You know, young girls of nowadays are not easy to handle. Exercise patience, Amuchi. Look at me, Doka. Just look at poor Amuchi. Hi! What crime have I committed by marrying a wife for my son? How? Oh. <laughs> Doka, you know me too well. Everybody in this village knows that Amuchi can never hurt a fly. It's all right. It's all right, Amuchi. Just listen to my advice and leave Chimobi alone. After all, you have your husband, Debuna, to look up to. Did I hear you say Buddha? Yes, 
sandwich. Why should you call him? He's eh? your husband. Did you hear what he said when he, that foolish girl slapped me and threw me on the ground? Udoka, on whose side are you? Calm down, Amuchi. Why should down. I calm down? Udoka, who are you to advise me? I have every information about you on my farm. Udoka, do you want me to tell the whole village how I caught your wife stealing cassava stems from my farm? Amuchi! Udoka, when will you stop your wife, Ure, from visiting her more in the farm cry at night? Or are you not satisfied with the two daughters she already has for you through other men? Udoka, should I continue? Please, please, Amuchi. Udoka, why did you sell your manhood? Amuchi! Have you gone mad? Eh. Yeah. Have I gone mad? Wait and see if I've gone mad. Leave before I go into the Come on, leave! Amuchi. Leave! Foolish man! Babe, Baba, where are we going to now? I think you want your mother in law to die. Huh? No, I want her to die. <laughs> Follow me. My daughter, listen, there is a substance inside this bag. When you get home tonight, spread this substance in front of her door. But make sure no other person passes through that door before her. Yes, After that, you will see what will happen. Take. Thanks, Baba. No, don't.
your perception of life so deceptive and cruel I wonder if you see the grave you dig for yourself what you sow once there's morning That's how I saw it. I woke up yesterday in the morning and found her corpse lying in front of her door. There was nothing I could do other than to call in our kinsmen. We dressed her and sent her to the mortuary. So, Mama is gone. She's gone. I'm going for her. Oh. What about her wife? Shema. I've seen yesterday on her back. Sometimes she took her back and told me she was going to see her home. And she's not come back since then? I have not seen her. Has been delivered up twins, a baby boy and a baby girl. <laughs> My God, you are wonderful. <laughs> hey, you make a man. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Disappoint me. Hey, I'm oh married young when I go down. I go. I'm married young when I go down. I'm married young. I'm married young. It's a beautiful day. Yes, what are you doing in my house? Are you blind? Can't you see the asset? You can sit down if you like. Thank you. By the way, why are you dressed in black? My mother is dead. Your mother? Oh. Say, Pichi. So, what can I do for you? Doris, I don't know how to say this. But ever since you left me, my life has not been the same. I have come to claim what is mine. Well, what is that? You, Doris, marry me. I love you. You know that. Marry me, please. Me, Doris, marry you. After what took place in your village, man, you must be joking. That insult in the village was given to you by my late mother, and not me nor my father. Marry me, please. Come back to me. What of your wife? I don't want to discuss that. It's a long story. She's no longer in my life. Anyway, I'll sleep over it.
I've told you how I feel about the whole thing. It wasn't his fault. And you have to give him a second chance. Frank is good. I know it. accept him for one condition. What is the condition? That my son will bear my parents' name. You have to discuss it with him. of promises. One, that you won't break my heart again. Two, that you be a man of your own words. And others I don't want to mention. I agreed. But I will only accept you on one condition. See, I want you to say whatever you want to say, and I'll do it. However difficult it is, I want you to say it, I'll do it. He love you. Cry, just say it. Look, my son will bear my parents' name. 